All right, it is time to clean this baby. Start with a heavy dose of that Traeger cleaner. Spray it down, let it sit for five minutes. Look how dirty she is. And then we're gonna come back to her, spray her again and get to working. Show you how I clean my new Timberline. First things first, spray the heck out of it and spray it again and spray it again. I think I probably applied this Traeger cleaner three times before I uh, start doing any work. So I love using tin foil, crumple it into a ball and scrape them grates. They come out so, so clean, better than any brush to be honest with you. Look at that, there's after that little spray and smellable grease and tin foil. Look how dirty they are before. Squeaky clean, love it. All right, all right. Next thing we're gonna do, all right, more spraying. Spray, spray, spray. It's been sprayed twice already, this back part, and I love these little, get them at the dollar store. There's these little brushes, uh, uh, sponge on one side and like abrasive on the other. So I uh, hit them really hard with the uh, sponge. And then uh, once it's all loosened everything up, I just grab a uh, paper towel, spray it again, and then wipe it off. Look how clean it gets it. It's unbelievable. Like, I mean, this was thick, black, nasty, and uh, probably took me uh, two minutes of scrubbing. We're going to do the same down here with the sponge there and then uh, loosen everything up with the spray. And then we're going to come in with some uh, paper towel here and clean it up nice and pretty and make it look new again. It's, it's a little bit of elbow grease on the timber line. I assure you it's not the easiest thing, but honestly, it's not the worst either. Um, if you take pride in your stuff and you like it clean, this is how you do it. I don't do this often. As you can tell, it's pretty dark and gross. I think that's the first time I've done it since I got the grill in March, a real deep cleaning. So um, I've done a few cleans, just nothing this, this intense. So I figured I'd share it with you. Same process on the sides. Spray it down really good. Hit it with that sponge. Spray it down again. Paper towel. Look how clean it gets it. Like, it's just simple. Really, really, really easy. And I mean, it was gross if you... If you don't believe me, just rewind this video. It was so nasty. So um, do this to the inside, all around, everywhere, the sides, everywhere that's got the stainless on it, both sides, the back. Now we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty, the, uh, the the drip pan, if you will. Take out that little spout, spray it real good, hit it with that sponge, spray it again, hit it with the sponge again, and then we'll paper towel it like normal and see how clean she gets. You betcha. Clean as a whistle. Kind of. Now for the for the grease spot. All right, so this is what I like to do. Now, I, I don't know if you want to do this, but this is what I do. I just spray it down and scrape it and actually throw it right down the grease hole. Why not? Rather than scoop it out and have to throw it in the garbage, scrape it right down that hole. Makes it a little bit easier for cleanup. You're going to toss that bucket anyways when we're all done here. So I just scraped a bunch. Then we spray it again, and then I'm going to take the sponge to it and get it as clean as possible. It's not going to shine again. I don't get it back to stainless. That's not a problem. I scraped the outsides and the actual pan itself. And uh, then I sprayed it again after, which I don't put in this video, and I use paper towel just to wipe it a little bit cleaner. So now we're going to do the edges here, same thing. Sponge, spray, spray, and then we're going to go with paper towel. And uh, it's kind of the same process for this whole thing. And these sponges, I get like 10 of them for 2 bucks or a buck twenty-five at the dollar store. So it's really, really affordable. Like I said, it's just elbow grease. Um, but uh, it's pretty good. Now let's take it out. This is the, um, I guess, like the ash deflector underneath. So we'll take that out. And now next step is we're going to vacuum. And I use a little scraper to get the grease off around the outsides as well. And then just vacuum out the hole inside. All that ash has to come out. We get it nice and clean. And then basically from here, that's it for the inside. We just build this beautiful grill right back together. So all vacuum now. I'm going to Spray it down. I might as well clean it real good while I'm in here. We'll use the uh, sponge again like I always do. Spray, sponge, spray, and then paper towel. And then it gets it really, really, really nice and clean. And uh, it's really minimal effort. I think it took me a total of 45 minutes. And, and I mean, that's how it looks. It looks awesome. It looks like brand new. Um, it, uh, it It is more work than previous Traegers because of the drip trays and the stainless and all that. But I'll tell you, it's worth it. Look how sexy it is when it's put back together. Uh, I can't wait to cook on it, minus the fact that I'm gonna get it dirty right away again, but in the outside, the exact same process. I just spray it down a few times and uh, use that Traeger cleaner for everything. It just makes it look awesome. Thanks so much for checking it out, guys. I hope you give her a whirl. Cheers.